Okay, welcome back to Central Valley Buzz, everybody. I'm Chuck Leonard. You know, today there's something very, very exciting happening in this world. And why wouldn't they be right here on the Central Valley Buzz with me? Let's bring in Chris Conley with the brand new Google Glass. Chris, what's going Chuck, on? Chuck, how are you? Nice to be here. Oh, Thank man. you. Oh, man. I've been telling everybody, I'm going to have Google Glass on today. I'm super stoked about it. Right. It's exciting technology, Chuck. It's, it's the future of tomorrow. It's wearable technology. It allows the users to log into a computer or access the internet without a keyboard or mouse. Just from, the, just from the eyeglasses? Just from the eyeglasses, through body movement, through winking at the eye, through voice commands of Google Glass. Well, first off, before we start with the demonstration and you showing all the great things that it does, why? I mean, what, wh why was this even made? Google has been an innovator in technology for years. I've been following this development for about three or four years now. My name went into the hat on the first generation. Google saw a need for portable technology for folks that work in the field or in law enforcement or have a need to leverage this type of technology without going back to the office, logging in, putting a password in, saying OK, and moving on. It is kind of RoboCop. Right? right? It is. It is. So Google has uh, aligned themselves with some fashionable um, uh, framing people, Ray-Ban and whatnot, to kind of live a little bit more fashion. So you're not so robocopish. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's kind of it's kind of cool, but I hear a lot of people go, "Hey, man, that's kind of creepy." I'm like, "Well, I don't think that's why they invented it. Not for the creepy factor. Absolutely, they inv invented it so people can keep on working." Right. So if you embrace technology, Chuck, you get the technology. Yes. Right. If you're using a flip phone today, glass is not for you. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an element of, of, of folks that really embrace the technology and actually catapult it to the next level of function, not just taking selfies of each other in the office, right. right? Right. So, you know, kids now are going to adapt this going forward and into their workplace. We can do workflow solutions within scanning of documents, archiving documents, barcode scanning. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean through you, can, you can just look at a document and scan it? Look at the document and wink at it and scan it. Ooh. Or just say, okay, glass. And it'll pop up. Okay, so. And these are, when I say, okay, glass here, Chuck, look at all the items. In I the, can see it. I can see it right there. It's, right. right. Now, for you guys at home, this is what Chris has seen in the, in the glass on the Google Glass right in front of his eyes. It's really trippy. Right. <laughs> Little monitor sits right in front of my eye. It, it notices and calibrates to my eye blink. Um, and then as I surf the internet, it keeps history and logs and results of your search queues so you can always reference them. Are you saying that you can go ahead and say like YouTube? Yes. Which is a Google site, so we're safe saying that. Cor you, can go to, you can go to YouTube and request a video and just watch it? That's correct. Go ahead. Okay, Glass. Google. YouTube. So you'll see the results here in my window. You, wow. There's a Wikipedia. It is talking in my ear now. It's actually voice activating, reading in my ear as we speak. I can swipe through different options of the lookup when it was founded, who the CEO is, wow. the founders, some music if you want to listen to it. There's your founder list. That's just crazy. The reference material I can access on Glass goes beyond any internet search that you can provide on a desktop. So if you would have continued to do that, you would have said uh, Beatles, Abbey Road. It would, have, it would have just start playing in your earpiece? Correct. So Google is part of what they call an ecosystem. Everybody's got one. The other guys have one. Why not Google? So you have Google Drive, Gmail, Google Play, right. which is all dynamic content. All streams into that ecosystem. So when I say, OK, Glass, listen to, the streets have no name, it'll play through the dynamic content through music right into my ear. You too, the streets have no name. Wow, just amazing. You can pick up phone calls as well, make phone calls. I can send email. I can send texts. I can receive email and texts. Okay. And, Okay, so let's do this now. It takes pictures just by a wink of an eye? It does. Okay, so if you were to take a picture of me, it would show up right on the screen right here? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. So let's get, let's get out of the YouTube option. I'm just going to reset the glass here by putting on my... Okay. 
And I'm just going to sit back here. Okay, so you rebooted your glasses just by taking them off and putting them back on? So the, the, the on and off mechanism is a 30 degree tilt of your head that turns glass back on. I don't need to physically touch a button to turn it on. So just by being animated, you could just hmm, out in public and reboot. Correct. Awesome. Correct. Okay. So I can say, okay, glass, take a picture. And there's your picture. Right there. Right. Oh, nice. man. I just took a picture reacting to your picture when you were when I winked at you. So that's you now reacting to the picture I just took previously. All by doing a wink of the eye. Just incredible. Right. Let's go over some of the other things it has, Chris. Sure. So I can definitely do more command with uh, OK Glass if I want to take this picture. And I can say, send it to Spencer Conley. My son now has a picture of you in his email waiting for him when he gets home. You're kidding me. Just as easy as that. Oh, wow. The implications of communication and being Johnny on the spot, if you will, has a whole new spectrum. I mean, the time wasted in sitting in a keyboard and, and booting up a box is no more, right? And this is on the fly, on the go, on the go, all the time. on the fly, right? So let's talk about responsibility. Like, don't don't use them when you're driving. You know, you know what? For, <laughs> for driving, don't use them when you're driving and looking at a video or reading the internet. However, glass typically sits at your eyebrow level, and you never access glass in the front of your eye all the time. So if you need to uh, make a phone call, OK, glass, make a call, it'll pop into my phone. I have turned off now, and I can make a phone call without touching any devices. And it'll probably go Bluetooth through all of the Bluetooth technology in the new, newer cars, Absolutely, Chuck. Right? It does that already. So yes, I've got it wired to my Bluetooth as well as tethered to my iPad. So it makes it a very cohesive technology link. Now, people are going to be able to get those that look just like the sunglasses or glasses that they normally wear, right? Yeah. They, like I said, they're going to change the frames out a little bit, and they're going to uh, make it more fashionable. Uh, they are on sale. The Explore Editions are on sale today uh, for 24 hours only. Uh, glass. I saw Google. that. Uh, Google's coming out swinging, right? They're giving, swinging. They're giving away a sale on the very first day. Absolutely. And what they're doing is they're soft marketing the product so to that the developers a year or two ago can actually leverage the glass and do a soft approach and you know, invoke responsibility with glass and not be running around to banks and to you know, secured locations, if you will, with glass. Typically with glass, you want to ask somebody if you want to take their picture. You don't want to go up to them and just start, you know, taking winking video at them, right? and winking click, at them. Click, 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 click. So there's, there's <laughs> protocol, but you know, during this time that the public's going to have access to it, we're, we'll just see how that's going to, to take hold there. Oh, I, I have a feeling that someone's going to be taking this to a whole <laughs> other level. Yeah, it, I think it already has, yeah. <laughs> so what, what is the deal on the very first day of the Google Glass? Uh, Google Glass, I think, opened up at 6 a.m. this morning. Um, you can buy a pair for $1,500 plus accessories, and um, I think there's a limited number when you log in, so it's first come, first serve, and then they, they ship directly to you. And, so, and, so are they available in a retail outlet at this point? At this point, no, online only, right? Online only. So Google has also developed what's called Glassware. Those are the little programs in Glass that make things happen that you want to do, such as Evernote. I don't know if everybody has Evernote. No. Take notes. So, you can actually send a verbal note. I was on the Chuck Leonard Show today. I need to rebook next week, period. Send to Evernote. And now my Evernote account on either my iPad or my computer will reflect that note that I sent over in the field. Wow. So it just makes it a little bit more easy to communicate. Now, how lucky are you to be in on the ground floor of the Google Glass? Were you with Google before this? I was not. I'm not with Google. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually a beta tester with Google. I, I work for Rico of America's corporation here in town, and we are a document capture, advanced capture, archiving company that helps companies find workflow improvement, archives all your hard copies, and brings in a database of information so you can look up notes versus having hard copies around. Well, Google Glass, we're using that to leverage some of the scanning processes, such as barcode scanning sure. and QR code scanning, right? So Glass has glassware that I can identify QR codes, takes me to the point, the email, or the message, and then I can react on that accordingly. So what's with the barcodes and the QR codes? Why would people need those? So QR codes is basically a, a font. So if you go into Arial Times New Roman, you can download a QR code, or excuse me, a, a barcode font, code 39. 
And as you type your name, that code will start to, and you can take a scanner and scan it. Well, QR code has more information in it, right? So I can put a ton more information in a little square versus multiple lines of a, of a barcode. Google has adapted that technology in that they realize since there's no keyboard or mouse, they scan barcodes to operate Google Glass in some instances. For instance, when I had to hook up to your wireless connection to your, your network here in the studio, I couldn't log in with the credentials you gave me. I created a QR code on Google Glass app. It creates me a code, and then it says, have Glass take a picture of the QR code. Once I put my head down to the code, I've logged in. That's it? That's it. And you're using your Google account, not our account? I'm using my Google account. Wow. Right? Yeah. Wow. So very, very cool Very stuff. exciting stuff. Chris, it seems like there's just so much more that we can talk about about Google Glass. We can. Will you stick around for a little bit? Absolutely. Okay, I'll tell you what we'll do is let's take a quick commercial break. When we come back, how about some live local music from Curtis Alexander? And then we'll bring Chris back to talk about some more Google Glass later on the show. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate it, man.